Hi everyone, welcome to this desktop update video for early December. Uh, I have a bit of a sore throat, so I hope it will hold out the rest of the video. Um, so yeah, what's been happening? I just briefly wanna wanna talk about uh, two weeks ago. I had a first first uh, war gaming in I think in years. So I played the first scenario of the Hobbit uh, set. So I finally had enough models, and the scene was also finished for the first uh, first scenario. Uh, the scenario itself was a bit unbalanced, but yeah, just getting back into the to a game like that with the uh, dice rolling and measuring, yeah, it really felt felt great. So uh, uh, yeah, I'm currently uh, on the lookout for for more more scenarios. So I want to finish the rest of the models as soon as possible, and I'm also seriously considering uh, getting back into into war gaming for yeah, seriously getting back into uh, into the game. So. Um, that's something I want to show you uh, in a minute. So I'm considering to, to start building a Warhammer 40k uh, army. So I had a few small uh, armies in the past. Um, some failed projects as well. So stuff I want to, wanted to start. But uh, I think yeah, this time I'm really looking for, uh, looking to a Space Marine army and Imperial Fist army maybe. And you're yeah, really painted up to a very high level, so that's even capable of winning a uh, best painted army at some point. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at the desk. So this is just some uh, some of the finished terrain I did for uh, for the Hobbit game. Yeah, I think I or showed it almost in this state than in the last video, but this is just f finished now. It's varnished, and then I also had added some uh, of these blood blood splatters here and there. So yeah, really, it's not. That prominent, but I think it's yeah, it gives a really nice uh, touch and uh, look and feel to the to the boards, these board walks. So yeah, like I said, I really had a fun time playing the game. Also, made some uh, because yeah, I played the game with a friend on my kitchen table, and we have these very nice f flashy flower-like uh, tablecloth. Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, that really ruined the, the painting work I uh, put into this. So I just made a 60 by 60 centimeter. That's the size of the scenarios. A piece of cardboard and just colored it a bit with a with sponge with some black and browns, and so it looked quite okay. So I put this on, on put this uh, scenery on there, and we started playing. Last week I assembled the rest of the remaining models. So this stuff here. Which is mounted on the bottle caps. These are the figures I have to have to paint for next scenario. So three dwarf and then yeah, this is supposed to be some uh, some supplies, some luggage that the dwarves have to steal back from the from the goblins. And over here, there are the the rest of the, the models. And then this is the another scenery piece that's that needs to be finished for one of the last scenarios. It's the the throne for the goblin king. And then this contraption here is the the scribe, so the figure that's hanging here. And then a bit more about the uh, 40k project. I uh, yeah, I want to try because yeah, I'm probably going going for a for an army, but not yet 100% sure. So I'm painting up this test model. So this is real space marine backpack and the head. They're mounted here separately to facilitate the painting of the power armor. So. Yeah, I wanted to do Imperial Fist for a while. Um, not really wanted to have the flashy canary-like yellow, so I really wanted some some kind of ochre. And I think I really succeeded in what I had in mind here. So also not between between the armor plates. I didn't really go shading with black. I just added some dark red to the mix, and I think it really gives this piece, uh, this model, the look I had in mind. So right now I'm just waiting to have the it's waiting to have the metallics finished and this is the helmet here. Also didn't want to go for the really strong highlights here, just keep it very subdued, very black, very dark. Um, by the way, this is a black helmet, it's just something I wanted to try out, but I'm I think it's going to be a bit too much black. So probably with the rank and file uh, regular figures, I'm going for the for a yellow helmet and then for the sergeant or the, the veterans elites I'm going for a black white or a red helmets so 
for really fun painting. Didn't put too much time in this. Put a, put a bit more time in it because I was looking for uh, good mixes. Uh, but um, yeah, I think a bit more than an hour at this point. And then one last thing: uh, these cupboards on the around on the assembly desk. Yeah, I just cleaned them out last week, and there was a lot of stuff in there that I didn't probably won't be using anymore. So I just put all of that here on top, in the top uh, cupboard, and yeah, I already took pictures of everything, uh, making an inventory of this, and this is probably going on eBay, hopefully next weekend. So yeah, there's a lot of 40k, also some bits here. There's a Valkyrie somewhere in the back. Um, this nice book here. It's probably all going uh, going for sale for uh, for one euro, one one dollar starting price. So uh, hope to get this to even to, yeah, to put this in a decent list uh, by this week, so I can put everything on eBay. So there's probably something useful in here for uh, for every one of you. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.